Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias, and welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. In the last episode, we fought the Gaia Guardian, and I think we also made a Dragon Dimension, which was kind of awesome. It's that one right there. It's currently unpowered, but that's fine. Um, we can go there here in a moment, maybe. Uh, but basically, we're going to make a new dimension today. Um... Where is Draconium? There we go. Uh, we're going to make a new dimension today because one of the things that this reactor takes so much of is coal. Uh, and specifically graphite. Trying to get graphite has been a bit of a pain. Currently we are crafting a bunch of charcoal from wood. And then that is going to be processed into graphite to make just 400 yellowium fuel rods. We're going to need a lot more than that to fill this guy up. Um, and eventually we're going to also need, um, we're going to fill them with diamond blocks because that is an achievement as well. Uh, so I believe that's the max size. I will double check all that kind of stuff and we'll do some tests to make sure it is. Um, basically all I'd have to do is make a bunch of reactor casings and then try to do another layer and see if that worked or not. But I believe that is the max size. We can, we can test it. But last time we were also trying to do, uh, we were trying to make the infernal rod um, to make the uh, in, infernal wand um, because that's going to help us fight the Guy Guardian version 2, which is what we're going to be doing today. So let's do this one first because it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I just want to make sure we have enough superbia. So we have everything set up. We just need to smack it. Uh, all of our digital essentia gets poured out and... We just kind of stand and watch and it will happen and we'll get an infernal rod um, and then the question is whether or not we can turn that into the uh, wand that we need to hopefully we have enough stuff our crafting scepter and all that kind of stuff is taken care of but we'll find out soon enough this does require a lot of stuff and what did it just destroy um, what was that that was a wither skull all right, so it's going to require a little bit more stuff, but oh hey, we actually picked it up. So that should be fine. Okay. So there is the infernal rod. Um, evidently, it didn't really care. Uh, so we have the infernal rod. We're going to go ahead and scan this because it's going to be stuff for us to do with later. Um, and now we need to make it a wand. So do we have any gold wand caps? We are missing, that is empty. Um, let's cycle. So there's one. And two. And then the question is, can we actually make the wand? No. We need a lot more stuff. So um, I guess I should have probably done this between episodes, but I didn't think to. Um, but that's okay. So we got flux flu. Yuck. Uh, so while we figure out, um, let's see, we could go ahead and pop down here and charge this from these guys which isn't a bad strategy um, I wish I remembered how much it took let's let's quickly go up here and take a look at that uh, so basically if we can take care of this and get everything taken like I uh, get this wand made it's gonna require 36 of everything 28 of everything, and we can actually go ahead and make it. No, we don't have enough air. Or 25 if we charge this guy up. So, um, we can find some air. That would be all we need to do. But otherwise, um, we'll charge up the other wand. Because that's the crafting one. So, here's some air. Uh, and this will be enough. So, go ahead and get that, and then charge this guy up a little bit. Um, so, 
one of these days I'm gonna get a bunch of nodes or some way to recharge my wands easy um, but today is not that day um, I don't know I haven't really decided how I want to do that we could do a mob farm type thing or we could just do because I don't even know are these guys dropping those guys aren't dropping experience or anything are they are they dropping the orbs when they die that's what I want to know if they're dropping the orbs, then I could do something, but I think I need to use different a different grinder to do that, and I don't really want to do that. So, um, as long as we can get the Infernal Rod, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. So there we go. Um, we'll put that guy back in there, and we'll put him in there. doesn't have to be charged or anything, it just needs to be done. So something else I went ahead and did is I made this plastic crossbow. Uh, I turned it back into plastic instead of the signalum, and I also added literally as much redstone as I could. So it fires very quickly now, uh, which is awesome. Uh, the other thing is I did go ahead and put as much quartz on these bolts as I could. So now we're going to be doing 20 hearts of damage every attack. Uh, so with that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and grab... Um, let's see, we're going to need a dimension, this guy, empty dimension tab, and let's see, we're going to need that on the bar, and I want to basically empty out my inventory just a little bit. Uh, we're going to take our silk touch pick, and we don't need the crossbow right now anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And let's put this here. Uh, we don't need these guys right now or any of this so um, we will head off to a new dimension here in a moment uh, to get coal so that is that is the sole reason that we're making this world uh, is to get coal and I was debating whether or not so we have two different options with coal we can get the um, blocks of coal which is 13,000 uh, creation cost, 5,000 maintenance, or coal ore, ore which is 5,000 um, creation cost or 1,000 maintenance. Um, because that is five times as much maintenance, I'm going to just go ahead and do the coal ore, I think. Because, let's see, we can use this through a pulverizer and get three each or through a sag mill and get three each so we can pulverize all of this to get a ton of coal ore so uh, that sounds good enough to me this is gonna be coal ore um, we want effect none feature and materials go before feature so uh, that should be good that's gonna require maintenance of I-1800 that's not too bad um, we can we can pretty easily uh, deal with that. The creation cost is a little bit more expensive, but these guys should be fine to keep up. How are we doing on it? Yeah, so everything seems to be doing just fine. Uh, need to take those guys out every once in a while. And this guy has so much power. He's being drained, but he's also not charging, so let's sleep. Um, but yeah, so we make the coal dimension, we go to the coal dimension, we get as much coal as we want, and everything is good. Uh, so... This charge is going down, but as the light level increases, its generation is going to go up. Um, but how close are we to having a dimension? We have a dimension, and a ton of power. So we're just going to stick that in there, and home base, coal ore dial once. And we'll head into the coal dimension. So what are we going to have? Anything cool? Um, tendrils like I expected. Awesome. So our magnet is on. So what we can do is just vein mine until we get hungry. Um, and that gave us a ton of coal. So I can put that all in here and we can just keep on doing that so um 
the reason I wanted to silk touch is because this is going to allow us to get the most coal we can. And, um, yeah, we shouldn't have to worry about coal ever again. There is just a ton of coal ore, and we'll grind it up into three times as much coal. And I really wish I had something that gave me infinite hunger, but oh well. So, eh, you know what, let's go ahead and fill this up. And my pick is going to break, actually. It's reinforced four, so let's head home. And we can actually add the reinforced modifier. What is, oh, what is the reinforce in this version? Uh, I've played so many mod packs, I kind of forget sometimes what, um, the, what, what the different modifiers re require. So if we want reinforced, it is uh, obsidian plate. Okay. So that is not difficult. So obsidian, we need literally eight, or is it four? Uh, I guess we'll find out soon enough. I uh, can't go in there, I don't believe. So we just get large plate. And we'll need to repair this, I think, but uh, that's just some cobalt. Nothing too difficult. We have all the cobalt ore we could ever want. So is one enough to repair this guy? Pretty close. Do we have like... I have some powder cobalt ore. Nope, that's not going to work. So let's just take one of these guys. We'll pulverize them and all that kind of fun stuff. So this is going to give me... Yeah, we can make two. Why not? Uh, if it does make two. Doesn't really matter too much to me. So uh, we'll repair this pick. And then, um, yeah, what we can do is just grab all of the coal ore and put it all in here. And now we can tell the system, hey, you want coal? Well, take the coal ore. And this is making, let's see, graphite from one coal. So is this still processing? No. So what we'll do is we need to go to the pulverizer. Um, that is something we're gonna want, but we're gonna take that out. We're gonna tell it to stop using charcoal, and we're gonna teach the system that one coal ore will give you three coal. And so we just put that in with the pulverizer. And now if we want uh, to get and also, we can also make as much coal as that'll make. Um, so if we want, let's say, a thousand coal, it's gonna process 300 coal ore. And we just got uh, almost 3,000 from all of that. So that's gonna process pretty quickly. And that's kind of awesome. So that was a good investment um, to get a coal ore dimension. Let's see, is this guy done yet? Yep, I thought it was going to be doubled. Okay, it doesn't really matter to me. So we'll get the obsidian smelted out, and we'll make this pick uh, unbreaking. Because this pick is unbreaking, right? Um, no, it's not. Huh. So we'll do that. We'll get that out as well. So we should be able to just put that there. Reinforced. Oh, uh, we'll need more reinforced, but... So there's one. And... There's reinforced five. So it's actually reinforced eight. Uh, so just a little bit more and we'll have all of the reinforcement that we could ever want. Um, so something we might want to do is obsidian. We'll just take a stack of it, actually half a stack. And we'll throw it in here. And then as our tools are pick mostly, uh, gains levels, 
we can make it on breaking. So that is going to be that. Um, for the rest of this time, let's go ahead. Let's grab our Terra Blade. Don't need this. Don't need any of this stuff. Uh, we'll keep the magnet on us. We need this guy and our jeweled apples. Um, and then strength potion. Sure. Uh, so we are going to go take on, uh, once we put our good armor back on, uh, we are going to go take on the Gaia Guardian version 2. Uh, let's see, my good armor is in here. Boop. Okay. So we have our gold banded inferno rod, uh, infernal rod rather. So we'll never have to worry about um, getting withered again. And all we have to do to summon the guy guardian again is one, we're gonna turn down this stuff and that. Hopefully that helps with the volume, but we just come over here and right click the, nope, shift right click the beacon. And now we have the Guardian, Guardian of Gaia version 2. And yeah, as you see, he's a little bit more difficult. But that's why I have the Terrible. And yeah, we're not getting withered, uh, which is really nice. And we have decent armor, so this shouldn't be too bad. It just might take a while. Um, but the the uh, Terra Blade gives us um, essentially a uh, it essentially gives us a uh, oh I hate getting knocked back. Oh, I forgot to make one last thing. Would make this a lot easier. Um, the Terra Blade is basically our ranged weapon. So we're not actually taking any damage. Not really. Um, but yeah, I should have made one last thing. I kind of forgot about it. Um, but that's fine. Um, we're doing damage to him. Uh, it's his little pixie that he summons out that are really kind of annoying. Uh, where's he going? Yeah, those little, like, sparks. They're what's knocking us around so much, and I am going to turn Master Volume down. We don't need to hear as much. I, I feel like I'm speaking over it. So, uh, I forgot to make a Tectonic Girdle, which would have prevented knockback, which would have been super effective on this. Um, I don't think we'll have any trouble beating him, but uh, it's going to be a lot longer fight. So, there we go. Um, our sword, our main sword does a lot more damage. Oh my gosh, the knockback. We need to like constantly strafe. And plus he teleports around so much. It's really hard to get him pinned down. And, oh, come on. Alright, there we go. He's halfway dead. Um, and, yeah, it does help having... Ah, uh, okay. So let's, let's eat another golden apple. Or, jeweled apple. Oh, no. Let's, ah, uh, attack him. Okay, we're literally not taking any damage, so, um, enchanting the gear was probably a good op idea. So, take another jeweled apple. They're not expensive. Well, they're expensive, but they're not hard for us to get. Um... All right, let's back off a little bit. Uh, 
Alright, so he keeps strafing. And of course he goes out of the area that I can get. Alright, come on. Alright, at least the we fought him so long that the music has actually ended. But we're not taking Wither anymore, or anything like that, so... Um... That is at least a good... Um... Part of this. So... Um... Yeah, it's a lot weird. It's, it's a lot weirder without the music. Alright, so... He's almost a, a fourth. And I really hate the pixies that he summons. And he teleports all around so much. Alright, there we go. And now we're in the... He's going to summon a bunch of enemies. Like witches. Alright, let's just kill them all. Um, oh great, some of them are compressed. I think it's time to eat an apple. And yeah, he's gonna have a... oh my god, there's so many witches. Alright, so this is gonna get a little bit um, hairier. And, oh my gosh, okay. So I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, if I can kill the witches and the skeletons, uh, I should have the crossbow. Uh, we're getting bounced around so much. Alright, um... This should be doable. This shouldn't be too bad. And he's got like a couple more hits. And our inventory is full. So yeah, he's going to teleport around a lot more. And yeah, um... Let's just try our hardest to attack him as much as possible. And I'm losing him. Oh my god, please. Please stop with the pixies. I don't even mind, like, the, you're not doing damage to me or anything. There we go. And he's defeated. <laughs> Finally. Alright, so. Um. We killed the guy guardian version 2.0. That was crazy. Um, let's put all of that stuff. We got a Will of Darok. Um, so critical hit damage increases with lower HP. So that's if you have Terra Steel armor. It's really cool. Um, not something I really care to use. Um, we got a Relic Shader Grab Bag. I have no idea what that is. We get a considerable amount of Gaia Spirits. We have some Mana Diamonds, some Mana Pearls. Um, all that stuff. Some Mana Steel. Um, the Pinkinator. Uh, a Music Disc. Potion of Healing. I think we got that from a uh, Witch. So yeah, we just got a bunch of stuff. I kind of want to open this guy. Um, is there not a way to open these. I don't actually know how to use these. Oh well. Um, the Pinkinator makes the Wither pink. Uh, it's kind of cool. But then we have a Dice of Fate. Now there is one item I really hope we get. But if we don't, oh well. So you roll it and I got a 1 and it transformed into a different item. Which is the Fruit of Grisea. It's a relic and it's soul bound to me. So. Uh, what that means is it is mine and it is only mine. Now, here's the real question is what does it do? Now we can kill the guy guardian as much as we wanted actually because we have so much terror steel and we just got a bunch of um, guy spirit. So it's not like it would be hard to kill him. Um, and we can make it easier. So, Alphamancy, the fruit of 
Grisea. Um, the relic known as bestows its power. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it can be eaten similar to any other piece of food, but instead of utilizing matter to feed, it uses mana. So it is literally infinite food as long as you have mana. Um, kind of cool relic, but not one that I plan on using. So, uh, real quick, let's go ahead and make something that would have made my life a lot easier. And that is the, um, the girdle, the tectonic girdle. Uh, so this guy is literally just some leather, fire rune, earth rune, and a piece of mana steel. So fire, earth, and we just got some mana steel. So I know there's some in here. So quite literally, there it is. And all you do is you equip it like everything else. It's a belt. And now we take no knockback. Um, if we summon him again, we could basically run up to him and kill him a lot faster. Um, which is really nice. But we didn't have it, so... Yeah, there's that. Is this stuff still draining? No, that's taken care of. This is, it's using stuff because it's making uh, coal, but or it was. So we should be able to make, so I have 400 of those. Let's make a thousand. We need more Yalorium. Um, but I have Yalorium. I can just do this for days. So let's see, can we make 600 more? We're missing iron. Are we actually, yeah, we are. Um, so iron is now the new thing that we need a lot more of. Um, but anyways, we'll get, we'll deal with that later. Um, something else we can do, and I think I want to go ahead and go explore a little bit to do this. Um, that's good enough for inventory, but we can now complete the Ritual of Gaia 2. So we have completed Batania and we have completed um, Witchery. So now we just need to do a bunch of different things. Um, producing more power and doing more um, Thaumcraft stuff. So that, that's not that bad. Um, I can definitely kind of deal with that. Uh, how are we looking on the Thaumonomicon? We need to get, let's see, we've had both Eldric Epiphany, Epiphanies, opening the eye, um, but portal to the uh, another world. So we need to make the portal and a box. Um, must be used over grass in at least a seven by seven area. So we will deal with that stuff later. We'll start working on that kind of stuff um, maybe next time, I don't know. But something I want to do is I want to grab the dragons and that's gonna get a bunch of power and I want to just grab the uh, charge porter or the, the phased energy field generator thing uh, just in case. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go try to kill some dragons. So home base to dragons, dial once. We'll teleport in. And bunch of explosions, cool. So dragons. We can kill them a lot faster. There's one. And we should be able to at some point collect a bunch of draconium from this. And just kill a bunch of these guys. And... If we can kill them when they're close to us, that would be best. Because we can get all that Draconium, which, yeah, we have a lot of stuff. And there's a lot of portals down there. So there's a lot of Dragon Eggs, too. Um, so there might even be more, uh, hearts and whatnot, uh, soon enough, but just shoot them a bunch, and, oh, 
Come on. That is pretty much all we need to do. We'll have uh, a bunch of draconium from this, for one. And a bunch of dragon hearts. Um, let's see, there should be another one over here. So I have, yeah, just a ton of dragon hearts now. Um, and we can honestly just, oh no. Oh no, it destroyed. Okay, so we're going to need to do one of these. Um, shift open, add new. Uh, dragons commit and I'm gonna lock both of these all right um, because it destroyed the teleporter so there is no dialer uh, over there so we can't do anything about that um, whoops so that is a nice quick way to get a bunch of dragon hearts and a decent amount of draconium plus a VCO and all this stuff so we have 220 Draconium dust now, uh, and 8 Dragon Hearts, so that is kind of amazing. Now it's going to be hard to get the dra like the Draconium um, when it drops, so we're still going to make the Draconic um, uh, Dimensional thing. But next time, uh, we're either going to work with Thawncraft, but I think what I'd like to do is see what's the possibility of us getting... Um, seeing what's the possibility of us getting into draconic armor uh the wyvern chest plate honestly this stuff should be pretty easy and pretty straightforward we should be able to auto craft it and even um look towards maybe making some of the awakened stuff i don't know that's a little bit more expensive on draconium but we can start working on that and um i think it wants us to make a draconic chest that's pretty easy honestly so we can start looking at making all the stuff here um so automate wither killing that's something else that we're gonna want to do um we have the first set um completed but if i can make a bunch more draconium infused obsidian um what we can do is we can make an area where we summon the wither and then it's teleported um, directly to that little area, that room, and then it dies. Um, and then we can just, you know, hook this guy up to something else and it'll be fine. So, um, hook it up to one of these guys or something and everything will be good. Because, honestly, we don't have to go that far. Uh, I think it's like right here. Where's it even getting power from? Oh, it's got a... We could just put a test rack over here. Um, that would work. So uh, that part of the automation is pretty much done. We just have to to summon the wither automatically, uh, and that we can we can handle. So uh, that's something we can do. I don't really want to kill chaos dragons at this point. Tier six energy core, ugh. Um, resurrect one of the dragons. We could do that potentially. Make a draconic chest. So a lot of things, um, and we can continue working on the resonant energy cell. Uh, how close are we to like? Can we get more, um, what are they, uh, the, the capacitors, how many more do we need? About a stack, um, about two stacks, so can we get like a hundred of these? No, we are missing redstone and glowstone. So I don't know, we'll figure some stuff out, um, and I'll kind of decide what to do next time. So. Anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, we are going to work on um, getting more of the reactor completed and all that kind of fun stuff. And yeah, we could go check real quick uh, on the nether fortress. And it's, it's getting there. This is going to take forever. Um, unless we put speed upgrades on this guy, which we could probably look at next time. So that'll be what we do. we'll do. We'll, we'll just kind of do some random quests and stuff and then go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one.
Bye.